Kids working with adults can either go horribly wrong or really well. The child cast of Harry Potter proved to be a great bunch. Let's get a look at some of the students' and professors' funniest bloopers during their time behind the scenes. Number 1. We'd like to think Daniel Radcliffe had all the best training for Harry Potter. But we guess all the dance training in the world couldn't save him in this scene. It is just a rehearsal. According to him, though, it was just him really embodying the character. Because Harry's not very good, I thought I should play it down. Doesn't matter anyways. He's a champion through and through. I'm not, not quite sure what should be there. I'm actually a champion. Number 2. One, two, three. Professor McGonagall, on the other hand, can dance like a pro. Put your hand on my your right hand on my waist. On my waist! We knew she wanted to make Rupert Grint squirm in front of his classmates, and it definitely worked. No, you will have to lead eventually. Understood. Number three. Kids during long film shoots can get pretty bored very quickly. Hello. <sighs> And a bunch of 10-year-olds all cooped up together means a lot of pent-up energy. I am the champion. Oh my God. The adults on set were super cool about it, though, even joining in on the fun themselves. This is David giving a lesson in slap. Number four. Sometimes working with kids can get a little frustrating, especially for the adult co-stars. They just kept to themselves while the crew wrangle up a massive crowd of energized kids. And then this one boy on the Gryffindor table comes, comes around and goes, ah! We think the only professor on cue for keeping to himself was Snape. He could have at least. They got the camera, wait, smile, wait, smile. Number five. Still rolling, hold your head up. Poor Dan just had a really hard time holding his head up. <laughs> And this just kept on happening. Same problem, different day. Dan, remember to announce it. Keep your head up. Couldn't the director just give him a break? He's got a pretty heavy Horcrux scar that's just gotta hurt all the time. Yeah, Number six. Accidents can happen, even to the best of the best. Alan Rickman wasn't known for having many accidents on set, and this hit was pretty hard considering it broke the camera and his wand. There is no wand more powerful. Everyone got a good laugh out of it, at Alan's expense. <laughs> Number 7. Rupert was notorious for his laughing fits during scenes. <laughs> you just shot your mouth. Yeah, Ronald Weasley just couldn't help but chuckle even in the serious moments. Rupert, you shouldn't be laughing at the end when you find out that Dan's gonna potentially be killed by Sid. These cracks were attempted to be concealed by Grint, but it never seemed to work. Rupert will start giggling, and he'll pretend he isn't giggling. What a goofball. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Number eight. Now it's time for another take on the set goofball. This time, the Professor Edition. No surprise here that Robbie Coltrane gave the actors and crew an absolute wild time between scenes. <laughs> Number 9. Poor Ron just really takes things to a whole new level. You can see the fear in Emma's eyes as Rupert barrels towards her. And the best part? Ron thinks he's the victim of all this. <laughs> She can take it though, but the others were not going to let Ron down from this blunder. Number 10. Michael Gambon loved fooling around behind the scenes, and now he had a partner in crime. Completely our own world. You know. All they wanted to do was embarrass Radcliffe in front of his crush. Really, really funny. And uh, for you? Yeah. And, um... and let's not forget that the director really didn't have time to waste. So this was a verified, uh, essential prank to get a chuckle out of Snape. It's completely our own world. And we... <laughs> Number 11. Siblings fight a lot. But Fred and George were simply not selling an entertaining brawl. That's when director Mike Newell stepped in to show him exactly how it's done. You 
Nua whipped the boys back into shape, but probably regretted it afterwards. He was hobbling around for about four days afterwards. Number 12. Isn't it wonderful seeing the professors getting along? Yes. <laughs> Maggie Smith and Imelda Staunton were on-screen enemies, but definitely never ever goofed between takes. Blah 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 blah. Disloyalty. Oh. Hey, we'll take whatever preparation is needed, even when it makes Dolores switch up her lines a bunch. Things at Hogwarts are far worse than I feared. Than I'd imagined. Than I feared. Number 13. We are now witnessing the early concept of a Harry Potter musical in the making. My name is Gareth. My, my name is Gareth Boomsley. Rupert and Dan were just occupying themselves on a chaotic set and casually directing the cameraman. You've got to switch from him to me, okay, in this next song, okay? Go. They're definitely on key with this moment. That's our song. Roland now. Number 14. The music making doesn't end with the kids and picks up with one of the jokester professors. Say look at this. That's the great Michael Gambon sharing a musical moment with the Chosen One, though they've got plans to take their talents elsewhere. Me and Michael are gonna go busking in Covent Garden in our costumes. Guess the actors' paychecks were a little too light that week. Number 15. Radcliffe really had a rough time hitting his marks on set. We've actually figured out the reason why. He's still not looking up. Missing your marks may cause an angry crew-like atmosphere, and potentially a hand injury. Ouch. Number 16. You really don't want to mess with the most powerful wizard, even if you're the chosen one. Sorry. <laughs> Dumbledore really just couldn't get a break in the Half-Blood Prince, but now his robe gets stepped on? We see what you're doing, Daniel. Time to get payback. <laughs> Number 17. A first kiss can either go one of two ways. Or. Sorry, my glasses hit you that time. I'm sorry. This experience for them was probably a little awkward, but absolutely adorable to us. It's very nice. I know. It's cool now. They seem to nail it on the first take, but why not make them snog just a few more times? Well, I'll kiss you enough today. We've done it now. It's done. There we go. Number 18. Alan Rickman was so into his Snape performance that it really scared the students. Alan Rickman was so fantastic, I was freaked. And Rupert was scared he actually brought the Snape out of Rickman when he drew a lovely portrait of him during potions class. The picture wasn't nice either. I think I exaggerated a few of his features. As funny as it would have been for Alan to scold the young artist, he instead was so amazed by his talent and even kept it. I have it in my possession and I'm very fond of it. Number 19. Oof, this one's gotta hurt. But I am the chosen one. I'm kidding, okay, sorry. You're laughing because you hit me so hard, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Emma really does go all out to sell a stunt, even if it means doing it for real. Um, that really um, didn't hurt quite a lot. Number 20. Brendan Gleeson made Mad Eye Moody into quite the drill sergeant at Hogwarts. Constant vigilance! Constant vigilance! But deep down, he was just another goofy professor. <laughs> He brought up all the moods of the students and still managed to scare them on camera. Gleason makes me laugh so much. Number 21. Ross, I'm coming off. They do, and ladies and gentlemen. Maybe this one was just a little too TMI for Harry Potter fans. Bill, look away. You, you, I'm idiot. You think it was awkward for us? Try telling that to poor Radcliffe, who really had to make it real. Costume. I fantastic in women's clothing. Imagine changing in front of all the crew. But honestly, that wasn't the worst part for him. Dan's hit the gym to prepare. Yeah, man, I look good. I'm like a little rock star. Number 22. Mad Eye's back with another blooper too funny to pass up on. <laughs> Gleason got more of a laugh from this one than his younger co-stars. And who wouldn't be laughing watching a fake ferret at the end of a pole dance around? <laughs> There's a lot that went into the Harry Potter film franchise, and to help with all the stress of putting together so many actors, fun and games, who would have thought the most serious characters weren't at all serious behind the scenes? What pranks would you have pulled off if you were passing time on the Harry Potter set? Leave a comment below.